Okay, I'm at Miss Taylor's house on 5012 Rockingham Drive, Ferguson. Uh, looking at putting in a new furnace. We currently have looks like an old return drop from the ex original furnace. <clears throat> uh, butchered up plenum. So we do have a flu liner. Uh, it's a new AC system, so we're keeping the evaporator coil and just reworking this funky plenum. And we will include a new return air drop with a filter rack that comes out the back. We have plenty of room to adjust the furnace over for the filter rack. Uh, we'll probably break it right here, keep this existing part of the plenum, and just redo the plenum around the evaporator coil. It has all the tape on it. Uh, should be a fairly easy change out. We have a walkout basement. Um, let's see, for a 90% furnace, we go that route. We can go out through the block. It's a brick home, so we can go out through the brick and block anywhere around here, probably. That's going to be chimney over there, so probably out right out through over the top one of those windows openings. And it's only going to be two inch PVC, so we should be able to. Oh, we got dryer vents there, so. Uh, you got a band board. No, that's a floor joist there. Got electric there. Uh, let's see. We, to clear the intake for the uh, furnace, we need to be clear the exhaust. One of these must be a bathroom exhaust fan or something. You don't see anything over there. Yeah, yeah, there's a bathroom exhaust fan. So, I don't know, if, I don't think we can do that with the intake. I guess we could single pipe it. That's what we'll do. We'll do an indirect vent and just take one pipe out. Leave the other pipe open to the basement for combustion air.